people. Hope y'all doing fantastic. Um, brother man here. So what I try to do is when I'm out, uh, when I got a load the following day, like if the truck's been sitting for a couple days, I usually come in the day before and uh, check it out, make sure everything's good. Uh, everything starts, everything builds up like it's supposed to. Reefer turns on, have a refrigerated load tomorrow. So I want to make sure everything's good because, uh, you know, you, it's the worst feeling when you have a surprise when, you know, you have an appointment to make. So come in this morning and turn on the reefer and it didn't want to start. So after, you know, going through the little, uh, the little um, checks, uh, what was that called? The sensor and the menu and stuff like that. Come to find out the, uh, the coolant level was low. I don't know if that had anything to do with it not starting. I don't know. So I went to Walmart and got some coolant and put it in there and it started up. I guess it's got it off right now because this thing's loud. But uh, got that working. Um, so as you can see, because I didn't know where the, this tank was on here. So I had to go on YouTube and see if I could find it, you know, where the tank was. So I had to lift the, the top hatch up right there. And there's a coolant tank up there. But... I made this video to say that, you know, even though it's the company's trailer and see, I could have, I could have been the, I could have been of the mindset, you know, it's the company trailer. Uh, I'm just going to wait till tomorrow and call them to figure out what's going on and have them send the service guy out, so on and so forth. And then at the end of the day, I lose a day's worth of work, which will jack me up for the rest of the week because uh 99.9% .9 of the times I'm home on the weekend you know uh even though I I, I worked on the week I'm ho I'm usually home on the weekend um so that would have jacked me up but the purpose of this video is for spending $8 on a gallon of um coolant I'm up and running you know I'm up and running versus waiting around for the service guy to come to check the reefer out and losing a day's worth of work so i mean it's just something to think about you know when you're when you're a business owner it's a, it's a business decision so even when i was a company driver i did this type of stuff you know the you're driving the boss's truck you know something breaks down and you know okay i'll patch it up to get through the day you know that way i'm making money he's making his money and then we'll you know uh, uh fix the issue at the end of the day you know i'll call and let him know but he's just go ahead and run it and you know um we'll, we'll worry about it not worry because you know the word worry means what you're doing is you're cre creating anxiety uh right now for something that could or couldn't happen down in the future so i try not to use the word worry um so so we, we got a little deep on this channel where you get this knowledge from man part of it come from the bible i mean you're reading the bible and you know, those have read the Bible that, you know, years before me, you know, I, I learned from them and just, you know, apply it in different situations. But, uh, I mean, that's just some of the things that, you know, uh, when you're out here on the road that you're going to have to uh, think about and decide on what you're going to do. Um, so this thing starts up and uh, we're good to go. I'll check the rest of the truck out. Um, so... Uh, if you're not subscribed to the Trucking Tribe email list, hit that link down below. We'll see you on the next one.